Today, on the North American Journeyman, it's finally happened. We've been noticed by a top Costa Rican club. Well, let's load in. We're still at Real Sociedad. But I decided to just halt it. We've been crushing it in the league. Seven wins, one draw. I'll take you through the results before we get on to the interesting aspect. Real España. Beat them. Just winning games for fun. Drew Platensi, they were actually pretty tough, who we played in the final. They've been kind of our main rivals. Giving up a few goals, but scoring a bunch. We brought in a real spicy little player. I was not going to bring this guy in. Walter Lagos. We spent money on him. Going up, too. Walter Lagos is a beast. He, um, he was, he's an international, 18 years old, left winger. And he wanted to come here on loan. Wanted to leave Vida. And we said, well, we could bring him on loan, but it would only be for six months. And then next season, when we're playing in the Central American Cup, we're going to want him back. And they're going to say, we want to test him in a different environment, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know what? We don't really need him. Like, we're kind of crushing it without him. We're pretty good. But he would instantly be our best player. And then three days before the transfer window closed, he said he requested a transfer. And he was not dubious about coming here, but he wasn't super convinced. We ended up going in and out of contracts three or four times. I got him just right to the thin line where they just said, yeah, no. And then just kiboshed the whole thing for less than what we're actually paying. But that happened twice. And then eventually I was like, you know what? The more I look at him, the more I want this guy. Here he is. Walter Lagos, 18 years old, hasn't earned a cap yet. Inconsistent, okay. But really good left winger. Look at those physicals. I mean, concentration is his main thing and consistency. But technically, like this guy's, like look at our club. Key player, right away. He's only played two games for us. He hasn't even played that good, to be honest. But So that's happened, and then we've just been crushing it down the leak. Cool. We got a game here in a couple days. But the job finally became available. Which one? In Costa Rica? Saprisa. The most reputable club in Costa Rica. So I put in for the application, and I didn't declare interest. I just sat back. I've done that a couple times. I think once to Saprisa and once to Alajuelense. So I've just, you know, I'll put my application in. No laugh off interest. And the board are extremely impressed with your exceptional performances at the Royal Society, which is why we have, have identified you as one of our top candidates. Top men. So we're going to do the interview, and then we're going to see how things go, and I don't know if we'll play any games. We might up end up in a new job. But I, to, I will, let's talk about the situation, all right? They're stacked. I think their value has almost doubled since last time I looked at it. No, no, that's just their balance is 12.8 million. They're valued at 23 million. Facilities have a little room for us to improve. That's fine. So does youth recruitment, surprisingly. A payroll budget is nine million. Our current payroll budget is five hundred thousand. I'm sorry, their current their current budget is four million. I don't know where I saw nine. I was looking at remaining budget. Oh, that's their transfer budget. What? Okay. Anyways, so we can splash out. Obviously, they've got major success and they're underperforming in their league. 
can see they're down in ninth, but they're only three points off. You need to make fourth place to fit the semifinals. They're three points off third place, Alaholense. Like, this league is very competitive, very tight. So let's you can see they've been on a bad run. They got third place in the Central American Cup. They just played their first leg in the opening round of the CONCACAF Cup. So potentially we could even sneak in and play a game against FC Dallas at home. That's in four days, so probably not. But that's the situation. Seeing how tight the table is, even though they're low down. But they did not do good in the previous phase, so they're not qualified for the Central American Cup as is. You need to make the final. So the opening phase final. Or is it the grand final? I guess we'll find out. But either way, we need to perform well as soon as we get there, hit the ground running. Otherwise, it's a missed opportunity because maybe the Royal Society could compete in the uh, Central American Cup next season. Because, I mean, picking up players like Lagos and stuff like that, I mean, we're cruising. We're looking really good. We're definitely the dominant team in the league right now. But I'm just going to take you through the full interview process and skip the games, and we'll just see what happens here because I'm thinking it's this, this is the dream job in Central America. So let's get it started and see how we go. Welcome, Captain. We're glad you've come along to discuss our plans for the club's vision should we decide to hire you. Let's get it started. Can you ease our concerns that you've never previously managed in this country? Mm. This is the best chance. I want, I want the opportunity. Definitely. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my purple for the Supreme interview. So you can see they were purple. So very professional today. No tie or anything. I mean, we're in the Central America, so... You've done some highly impressive work. I mean, they're just stroking my ego. Are they going to... They're just going to let me down, aren't they? Highly impressive work at your current club. Why do you want to move on? It's time for me to take the next step, and hopefully I can be here. I've taken them as far as I can. That's not true. Seeking a new challenge for a while. No, that's not true. Recently, use it to hit the ground running here. Might be one of these two. I think it's time for me to take the next step. I don't want to be like, I've built positive momentum, but it's time for the next step. You're taking something of a risk by leaving what has to be considered a safe job and looking to make the jump to an altogether bigger challenge. What was the thought process behind your decision? Um, I just want to, I just want to be here, guys, okay? How do you plan to handle the responsibilities that come with managing a club and a national team at the same time? They don't take up too much time. I don't want to say I want to resign Honduras. Especially because I eventually want to pick up Costa Rica after the World Cup, if that becomes available. We could do dual action in Costa Rica. I feel the unique experience of working at international level would make me a better head coach overall. There are certain things club soccer just cannot provide. I'll well, do them both at a high standard. So I applied for a number of jobs while employed by another team throughout my career. True. I don't want to... Should I grovel? And I'm talking, probably blocking this, but it says, there might have been times where I lacked professionalism, but I've learned from those mistakes. This is like, what are your weaknesses? What get, List some of your weaknesses. That job interview question. Constantly striving to for great, higher levels of greatness? That's my weakness. Can we talk about what I did at the Royal Society? I hate answering this question because I don't want to peg myself into not being able to apply to other jobs. But let's think about it. What job would I apply for from here? Because it would be after we complete our objectives here, there's a very difficult objective, which is to win the Club World Cup. Would that be doable from here or at a club like 
you know, Club America, Tigres in Mexico, LAFC or something. It is the journeyman, so I don't want to just stick in Costa Rica for the rest of the save, but this is kind of the peak outside of those two leagues. I'm going to promise to stay here. I'm groveling. I'm doing it. I want this job. We don't want to repeat of our last head coach who we had to part company with earlier than expected. Are you going to be around for a while? I'll stick, I'll stick around for a bit. I'm totally groveling now. When do you intend to establish yourself as the club's head coach? Give me the job right away. I'll work with this manager. I don't care about that. Coaching staff. No coaching changes. The requirement is, okay, minimum, maximum one-year contract for players over 33. I'm happy to do that. Two-year over 31. Minimum two-year contracts for first-team players. I usually like to run it out to about a year and a half. Run it down to six months or less if they're not playing well. So qualify for the Central American Cup is an end-of-season objective. It's not required. Finish mid-table. Wait, what opening stage? Maybe this is like the start of next season. Be competitive in the... I can definitely be competitive in the... I don't know about you, but one of my long-term goals has always been to be competitive in the... Exciting future. All right, no expectations. Should I ask for a coaching badge? I think they'll just give me one. Eventually. I'm not going to ask for anything. This is the most grovelly I've ever been in an interview. Watch me not get it now. That should do it for the moment. Thank you for attending this interview. You'll be notified of our decision in due course. Okay. That was that. Let's see if we're favorites. No news article pops up right away. Our reputation isn't super high. Although what might help me is that one of the reasons I might have even got the job interview is because I just finished my first coaching course. Finally wanted. Boys. Also studying, I asked to take to take the next, next coaching... Whoo! I asked to take the next coaching course... Like a week ago, club hasn't gone back to me. Wanted. Job center. Saprisa. I'm not favorite. This guy's favorite. God, look at that value. For this is a Premier Division side. Who's overperforming. Did I grovel enough, or was it a bad move to grovel that much? We got Lobos away coming up. Training looks fine. My heart's already in Costa Rica. I'd be devastated if I didn't get it. Um. Oh, I was scouting up Brian Thompson at Delphine's. A+. Plus. He's dubious about coming here and wants a boatload of money. His determination has still been at one this entire time. And he hasn't gotten any better. Maradiaga coming back in. The only thing I didn't grovel on was I didn't quit the national team. So. Flores finally. Oh, I didn't let you guys know that we had a... I mean, we're crushing it, but we've had a brash of injuries. So Flores has been out this entire time, seven weeks. Broke his toe. Clee Fox, which is an awesome name. Bernardez, our backup left back, broke his hip, I think? Just says hip injury. And so did Zuniga. I don't know what it is with hips. It's all that booty shaking in Dominican Republic, or we're in Honduras now, but you know what I mean. American, Donnie Toya. 
33, no, no. All right, so I think they're playing their second game today. We're favorites for this one. Maybe we'll watch a game. Um, I don't, has his odds gotten better or worse? I can't tell. I don't know how odds work. They won on penalties. One? They lost on penalties. Why does it show it that way? Shouldn't it show green or would the P be on this side? They lost on, they came back from down 2 0 aggregate and lost on penalties. Dang. He would have won if it was me. Just saying. Seabow comes in for Gilbert? Oh, some guy I had on the Delphine scout list, Dominican youngster, who was going to maybe improve our team. Yo, what is up with my coaching course, by the way? Just nothing. No word. That's not good. That's our starting goalkeeper, who's not playing well for Real Espana. All right, you know what? We'll watch a game. We'll play a game. Why not? Make this a full episode. It might happen. Hey, Flores is back. Nice. Finally, because we've been playing a Yonku here. And he's much better as a number 10. Also, Maradiaga's back in, so that's good. You can get Sabi on the heck out of there. All right. Uh, just need these two boys back in. We've been playing Vargas in the Mazella position. He's still kind of learning it. We're just going to start him there until he figures it out. He's unhappy because he was playing out here. We brought Lagos in. And I didn't say, don't worry about your playing time because he's Walter Lagos. Have you, haven't you heard of Walter Lagos? All right, Rodas. Probably, no, I don't think I want to bring him straight back in. Yeah, these two are good together. Nunez is probably our strongest player. I'll show you the strongest team we have. We've minutiaed the tactic just a little bit to, to change the winger because Lagos is a left-footed winger. We were, we're playing inverted on that side, and he can cross like a beast. We're now whipping crosses in instead of going low crosses. You know, these things are really what, what gets your attention. Gets the attention of a club like Saprisa. So we're just cruising along. Too bad Saprisa went out, but hey, they can focus on the league now. I'm over here on the sideline wearing a Saprisa kit. Everyone's going, boo, get out of here. Unloyal. I didn't hit the papers though, so maybe we were able to. Keep it on the down low. All right, we're cruising. This team is like, they finished bottom last year and they're in second place right now. So I don't know what's going on. Central American leagues are very topsy-turvy. Probably because they play so many games. They rotate a lot. Is this our last game in charge? Or will I be majorly, majorly disappointed? Okay, finally a highlight. Here we go. Ianku. Kiati. Ooh, off the post. Martinez is there. Probably needed to try and hit that first time. Wasn't really in a good position to do so. We just can't get anything on target. We have we're working the ball in the box too, so start hitting the target and then we'll we'll be fine. Tactic it up. Yeah, work the ball in the box. I don't really want to change anything. We'll bring some players in though. This guy we brought in on loan has been solid. 
If I stick around, I'll try and buy him, probably. He's a youngster, too. He's 18, 17, even. Another one with bad concentration. I think we need to get Davy Flores. He'll come in pretty soon. Yonk is not really doing it right now. Has it been too short of a stay in Honduras? How many episodes have we been here? This is probably the fifth, sixth episode, maybe? The final, I'm sure, was an episode. All right, Davey Flores is coming in. This is ridiculous. Vargas, he's calm. At least he's calm in that position. Walter Lagos is doing something, but we're just not, not making it work. Nobody else is playing all right. Maybe bring Mardiaga back in. These guys have a partnership, or they did. Maybe it just doesn't show it. We usually like to go this way. Eh, we'll go this way. All right, boys, start scoring goals. Uh, where's the action? There it is. Nunez, this is by far the largest pitch in the league. Maybe that's why the tactic isn't working. Maybe that's why they're doing good in the, in the league. Make the pass. He's making the run. Garcia takes a shot and just puts it in the top corner, far side, on his own. 17-year-old, right inside, or inverted winger? Inside forward, I think. Indeed, inside forward, because his crossing is like five. Which is shocking, but... There we go. No, I don't, I'm not sure if Lagos has scored yet for us, so I'd like to see that. Or maybe he's just kind of a boatload of assist kind of guy. Flores, good cross in. Chiotti's there, but the defender was as well. Put him off a little bit. Yeah, press that guy. Press him up. Here we go. I don't know where Yonku's going, but he's free now. Little dribble, little shot, right at Rivas, who turns it over. Look at this giant corporate building. Does that exist in Costa Rica? <sighs> Martinez. He's good on those headers. He's tall. He, do he does that kind of stuff a lot. Okay. Caddy's not doing too good. We need to just make sure some of these guys are fit. One more sub. We'll save it for late. Probably Lagos. Or maybe... I think Acosta's actually going to be out next game because of his yellow. What was that? Interception. No. Interception. I don't like this position. They're going to make a pass. Stewart gets through. Shot's blocked. And it goes out. Was that the highlight? Weird. Take it, though. All right. Costas played shit. Reyes is nervous, though. I don't like that. I'm not into that kind of energy. Ramirez. hate it. Wait. All right. Oh, because I talked to him. I can't cancel it. All right. You're coming in and then cancel it and then go, ah, actually, ah, never mind. I mean, they haven't done anything. Not the most exciting contest. Unless there's late action here. Which there is not. We get the win. It's not a complete, it's a dominating performance, but it's not a goal-scoring performance. I'm going to say this one. All right, all right, Vargas. Uh, I'll just keep saying he's doing good in the wrong role because he needs to learn how to play midfielder. 
because we're stacked. Apparently we paid some money because this guy's played 50 games for us. He's really not that good. All right, will news come through? Club form, I mean, he's been out for like two months, but yeah, I agree. New record, 16 games unbeaten, that's good stuff. Players in action. Looks like we might play another game. And we got Real Hispanic coming up. I'm not going to keep you here for another game because of so much stuff has gone on. Brian Garcia. He's the 17-year-old on loan. They took the head coach from Montagua. Former head coach. Ah, what am I looking for? He departed at the end of his contract. They took the head coach from Montagua. Well, apparently I wasn't the right person. Not the right person. Oh, yeah, not the right person to, for the job. Well, you win some, you lose some. You know what that means. If they make the Central American Cup, we're going to smash them. Man. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. I made this into a whole event, and we I wore purple. I went out and bought this shirt. No, I'm just kidding. I had this shirt. But anyways, I'm, I hope you enjoyed the storyline here. The story is, no, you don't get the job. Hey, that's the fun of football manager, right? Okay. We'll see you guys next time. We're still at the Royal Society. Let's turn this place into a powerhouse then, huh? Let's do that. All right. Catch you next time. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to end on a happier note. It's the FIFA World Cup draw today. We're on a little bit into the future. Things have been going great. I forget where we dropped off. Right around here somewhere. We're just cruising. We should finish pretty easily. Top two spots. Played one friendly with the national team. We changed up the tactic to be more defensive. You haven't really met the national team yet. Because I haven't showed any of the games. But here they are, pretty much. This is our starting 11. We're starting... This, this is like our best center back. This guy that we have in the Royal Society on loan. So we have issues. So we're going playing pretty defensive 4-3-3. But our best player called it early quits. And I didn't even realize it until this last little uh, international break, which was the World Cup playoffs. And this guy, 30 years old, plays for Marseille, Albert Ellis. I think I've seen him before. He looks familiar, but I don't. He's been playing all kind of all around. Maybe I recognize him from when he played in Houston back in the day. But I was able to convince him. I said, "You could help us." And he went, "Yeah, great. I'll come along." So he comes in first game and scores a goal. We tied Peru. One one. Early goal from him. 
We tried to close up shop a little bit, gave away a late penalty. Our defense is very iffy, but I thought we would just take a look at the draw to end things in a little nicer manner. We're seated fourth. So we're not going to look too in-depth at this. I mean, here's, you know, you got Germ we could get a pot. We could get Argentina, Germany. Who's best in this one? Poland, probably. Poland, Czechia. Jamaica's good. And then here we are with the lowdowns. It looks like Chile got through, so no Curacao, and Angola got through, so no, uh, who was it, Guyana. But you've got your America, you've got your Canada, you've got your Mexico. Let's get underway. I think the first one's going to be USA. And it is. All right. Canada, Mexico. Is that really how they should do it? A, B, and C? I guess it is. All right, France, Italy, Argentina, Portugal. Yep, this is about what you'd expect. I didn't really look at the qualifiers around the world. Canada, Japan. Looks intriguing so far for our group. It is the four team groups, so that's good that they updated that. Football manager. Because I used to, they had it as the three team groups for a long time, and that was like, mm, it's stupid. Like, what's the point of the group stage? Now it's a little more meaningless, kind of, the games are. I wish they just kept it at 32 teams. But more games, more money, that kind of thing. Makes sense, I guess. I mean, I, I'm not seeing any group we could potentially get third place in. How many best place third place teams are there? So there's, what is it? So there's 12 groups. So four. So the top four third place? That's actually kind of tough, isn't it? To get to the round of 16? Or wait, no, because it's, it's 32 teams. My math is all wrong. So it's 24. So it's the top eight? Ugh. Well, we could maybe do that. Okay, let's look at the groups anyways, because I kind of flew in them. USA, Nigeria, Czechia. Yes, I would probably take that one. Canada, Japan, Tunisia. Please. Group B. Please. Not really that favorite. Yeah, I could go for this one, maybe. Um, eh. Definitely no. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, not really. I think this one would be pretty damn hard. No, please. And yes. I'll take that one. We're probably just going to lose all three games, but let's just see what happens. Kyrgyzstan? Made it? 87th. I've never seen Kyrgyzstan play. Kosovo gets in at Group B. Why does Kosovo always qualify for the World Cup? Paraguay. In football manager, I mean. Suriname. New Zealand. No. Angola. Okay. Qatar. Burkina Faso. Brazil. Are we going to play Brazil? Oh, no. Come on. All right. Good. No, skip this one. Come on. Syria, 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 Syria. Yes! And we are in the last group against Morocco, Ukraine, and Iran. All right. Well, that went better than the Silesia draw for the Euros. Cool. That, that's, I mean, I don't know if it's Doable? Handed tough group? I mean, I guess. I mean, Ukraine's ranked 22nd. Morocco's ranked 8th. I mean, they are Morocco. But that's from their last World Cup performance. Like, what have they done since, really? 
later on. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. Whatever. Maybe we can grab a result. Maybe we can try and finish third. Make it out of the groups. That'll be cool. We're up to 83rd because we haven't lost in seven games, which is a team record since I took over. So anyways, I thought I'd tack this on to the depressing Saprisa no job episode, but we'll be back for probably just the playoffs, I'd say. They're coming up here in about a month. We'll probably be straight in the semifinals. I think we're qualified straight up semifinals right now, right? Closing stage. I mean, yeah, we're nine points clear. 16 points clear of third. Yeah, we easily got second place. So we'll be back for the semifinals against somebody. And then hopefully make the finals. And then after that, we'll have a World Cup episode with the national team of Arnduras. I'll schedule some friendlies. Where are our games real quick? Levi Stadium, just curious, is an American. In Santa Clara. Is that... Is that... Um, San Francisco? 49ers Stadium, maybe? Morocco, NRG, that's got to be Houston. Houston Stadium. And NRG. Cool, we just get to play in America. All right, works for me. Anyways, we'll catch you next time. Adios.